the effect of aesthetics in music. Aesthetics and music, two words that when you think about it are not necessarily suited to each other, yet so much music in this day and age, so many tracks would be nothing without their corresponding music videos. What is it that makes an effective music video? Is it stunning visual effects, plotline to go with it, choreography, or a mix of all of the above? I go by ish. Let's get weird. For aesthetics, I wanted to use two vastly different examples. Travis Scott as a whole and Colors Studios. To begin, let's take a look at the lesser known of the two, Colors Studios. Color Studios is a minimalist music platform aiming to showcase your next favourite artist, all of whom I personally would say are on the cusp of hitting their peak. But that's a video for another day. What I specifically wanted to talk about in this section was the aesthetics of Color Studios. A few videos of which will have been playing over the course of the past 30 seconds. Their main reasoning behind this minimalist stage is to take the majority of the spotlight that may have been taken elsewhere and put that on the artist. No distractions, just music. Now, I don't know if it's just my own personal preferences or any of that, but I myself have noticed that when I watch their videos, I find myself focusing so much more on the music. You can really see the lyrics that mean the most to these artists. You can really feel the emotion in their art, whether it's hip hop, R&B, K-pop, indie, etc, etc. Now let's move on over to Cactus Jack himself, Travis Scott. Who, who's that? that? That's ASAP Rocky, not Travis Scott, but... Alright, uh, yeah, that guy, yeah, yeah, you got it right now. Sicko Mode, a classic. Transitions, special effects, Bonda. Bonda. It's all there. I know you lot remember when this track came out. This was the one that started the whole beat switch season thing. The video to this was like nothing I'd ever seen before at the time. And I mean, I guess that makes sense considering I was going through my indie alternative rock character rock, you know, listening to Imagine Dragons and all of that. It's almost as if this guy Jack went into the editing room, got asked about which effects he wanted and he was just like, all of them. The thing is though, when you look at it, is the main focus of this track the music or the video? Because for me personally, Sicko Mode, while sonically of an incredibly high quality, would be a whole lot less of an influential concept without the video. And I guess this poses the question, how important are videos when it comes to music itself? See now, when I think about it myself, I feel like videos can definitely enhance the viewer's experience when it comes to a track. Look at I'm Not Racist by Joyne Lucas. That song would be absolutely nothing without the accompanying video. In this case, I'd say that the track and the video both go hand in hand and are both as important as the other. Without the music, the video would just look like a Trump supporter and a UNH Wildcats fan having an argument and then hugging it out at the end. Without the video, it would just sound like Joyner Lucas having an inward battle with his white and black side. I think he's mixed, I don't know man, I don't know. So for this scenario, I guess I'd say that it matters. Sia is pretty widely known for not being known. And she makes up for not showing her face in her videos by having stunning choreography that really does tell a story in her videos. <laughs> side note, side note. I'm dying at how this clip right here, <laughs> this clip right here, Maddie literally looks exactly like this vine from back in like 2013 or something. <laughs> I'm dying. Alright, all right, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's go back to the thing. In this instance, we'll use Elastic Hearts as an example. You know, the one with that one guy, but the guy from Holes. Um, oh, what's, his, what's his name? <laughs> oh yeah, that guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shia and Maddie fighting and all of that in a cage that they could easily fit through. You know, the choreography in this video would be seen to really tell a story though, to the point where you can almost feel the battles that the two characters are facing with him, with him. Bro, what? To the point where you can almost feel the battles that the two characters are facing within the track. The track itself, while incredibly impactful through Sia's vocal techniques and lyricism, is taken to that next level through the metaphor behind the cage and the battle that's being fought within it. Of course, they could have probably used some narrower bars because 
it was pretty obvious that they could fit through, but I guess that's part of the metaphor. I don't know, man, I don't know. This is America by Childish Gambino. I'll be real. There are more than enough videos out there explaining the meaning behind all of the symbolism behind the video through the special effects, choreography and certain plot points. I just want to talk about what I felt was the main point in this video. This being that while there is so much tragedy going on in the background of the video, we the viewer find ourselves being distracted by the theatrics and I guess the, the vibes in the foreground. From my perspective, without the accompanying video, this track wouldn't have gotten half of the exposure than it did with it. Look at all of the reaction videos that came out, articles, reddit posts, all discussing what it could possibly mean. And the final icing on the cake, the cherry on top. My man Childish explicitly stated on multiple occasions that it's all open to interpretation and that he doesn't even want to set anything in stone with his own words. So in a way I guess part of the reason for this track getting so much exposure could be up in part due to the amount of mystery behind its true meaning. Another aspect to take note of is the fact that you can't even really hear what he's saying throughout a lot of points in the track, but we're all just so distracted by the beat, the video, and the mad choreography that we just don't even care that much. See now the crazy thing about aesthetics in music is that once you've seen the video that accompanies a track, you begin to associate that visual experience with the music whenever you hear it, see it, or think about it. Because think about it, before I saw the music video for Sky by Playboy Carti, I'd have never thought to associate it with a group of hoodlums destroying a supermarket with a green night vision filter over it. And that's weird because that whole album reeks of black air force activity. Now though? Now whenever I hear those synths, I feel like making my way to the local little and just going crazy. Those 808s, they, they, they give me a power up, let's be honest. I feel like going over there with like my boys and kicking around bags of flour, bags of rice, throwing it around. But in reality, I feel like it's just going to be me there and like the little bakery eating all of the goods and security trying to drag me out or something. Hosier has always been pretty prominent in my eyes for videos with intense plot. And the one thing that you may notice if you've listened to a few of his tracks is that a lot of the time his lyrics almost read like poetry so they all have a plot in and of themselves. In a few of his videos the plot almost intensifies the track itself. Look at Cherry Wine for instance, a song detailing an emotionally and physically abusive relationship that the victim cannot get out of because of his attachment to his lover. However, the video itself switches and contrasts the song by using a woman as the victim rather than a man as the lyrics imply, clearly showing that both women and men, in case you were not already aware, can catch them hands. I'm not too sure where I was going with this video to be honest, I guess I just wanted to talk about the effects of aesthetics in music. Let me know what you thought of the video. I see you later, alligators. Nah, but for real, I'm looking at the video right now, my man could clearly have easily fit through those bars. Bro, just turn around, it's not that hard. <laughs>